1.7 million YouTube subscribers and, and millions more on other social media. He's a 1 and 0 undefeated professional boxer. Please welcome Deji Olatunji. <laughs> Please welcome a competitor widely regarded as the best to ever step between the ropes. Undefeated in 50 professional bouts, a multiple world champion, a multiple weight and entrepreneur, an entertainer. Let's welcome the icon that is Floyd Money Mayweather. Can you check the mics, please, guys? Hello. Who did something? Hello. Okay, yeah. And look, this is an exhibition fight. This is all about you know, fans getting to watch Floyd do his thing, you get an opportunity to step in there. It's an exhibition, not a, a professional bout, but let, let's be completely real about this. Deji, you, you've got to be seizing this opportunity to, to test yourself against Money Mayweather. You, you, what are you looking for, November 13th? What am I looking for? I'm looking to land a punch, obviously. I mean, that, that'll be amazing, of course. I guess the best defensive fighter in the world. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, I'm looking to have fun as well. I'm looking to showcase my skill, just show what YouTubers can do. So Floyd, Deji, it's going to look to, to land a punch. Do you think that with all your skills, that's a possibility? Um, first, you know, I want to thank, I want to thank all the sponsors. I want to thank all the people. I'm glad everyone made it here safe. Um, let me see, we got Global Titans and Front Row. We got so many different sponsors for this event. So many people that's back in this event. A lot of times we talk about the fight, but how we really got here is all these different people that's on this stage that help us uh, get to this certain point. So I really want to take my hat off to everybody that helped with this event. Um, not just the fighters. There's so many people that's behind the scenes that help us, that don't get the credit that they're due. So that's what I really want to say thank you to tonight. Um, and for those that can't make it, um, Fans, the American fans, fans from all around, all around the world. 
We wouldn't be where, where we're at if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't be Money Mayweather. I wouldn't have the money that I have without you guys supporting me, flying over to Vegas, flying over to Dubai, buying pay for you. So I really want to take my head off to the fans and say thank you. Before we talk about the magnitude of this event, I know that there are so yes. many streaming partners. Uh, this is going to be huge. You know, we've got yes. Fight Time Metaverse, we've got a whole number of other sponsors. So I want to make sure that we, you know, I touch on certain things so everyone knows how they can watch the fight if you don't fly over to Dubai. So I need you guys to go check out sports.gg. Is that, is that correct? Okay. Um, so we got Metaverse, fighttime.com. So you can check it out there, um, watch it on demand at, di at different cable operators. So I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm touching all the key points. But of course, I want everybody that's in the UK that can make it over, come have fun, come enjoy entertainment. You got um, Tommy Fury, um, he's making a lot of noise. You got so many uh, great fighters that's on this card that's gonna go out there and display their talent. And like I said before, I'm proud of all these guys, and I'm, and I'm really, really proud of everybody that's been working on this event behind the scenes. Woo! And of course, sports. Yeah, absolutely big team behind the scenes, and uh, there's some really nice NFTs and, and on the sports app, Sports GG, so certainly go and, and check that out. But for, let's turn our attention to this yes. fight. Let's turn our attention. Thanks, yes. everyone. Yes. Uh, you, got, you got a fight, my friend. Oh, well. I, I don't really have to worry about it. I'm just saying, talk about what I can do. The world knows what I can do. Um, and I've done this for, as a professional for 26 years. I had my first actual fight in 1987. So, um, it's just that I do, I do what I do. You know, um, as a professional, as a top professional at the pinnacle. I've been in the biggest fights you could possibly be in. I broke all records in a sport of boxing. Not bragging or boasting, just speaking true facts. Um, another another um, great fighter that I was able to clash with that I want to take my hat off to to say he was a warrior. Of course, Ricky the Hitman had. <laughs> you know, to become to become great, you must face great oppositions. And Ricky Hatton was a tough competitor. And just November 13th. Um, I'm gonna go out there and just have fun. I've been here so many times. It's just another day. And talk about to be great, you're gonna face greatness. So Deji, with that in mind, you and Floyd are at very different ends of your boxing career, shall we say. You're stepping in there with the man who's regarded widely as the best to ever do it, the greatest. What do you wanna get out of November 13th with a view on your career moving forward? Well, like Paul Floyd said, you have to step in with greatness to become great. That's very true. I mean, me being there with Floyd, this is only going to enhance my skills in boxing. So, yeah, this is going to further push me up the ladder in boxing. And, yeah, I'm going to just keep dominating the YouTube boxing scene after this. I mean, Floyd is supposed to take this all in the stride. He's been here before. Um, this is probably as, as a walk in the path for Floyd. So, do you think there's any chance? Any chance? Well, well I, didn't, I didn't say. No. Put no, words no. in one, one thing about me, we, we, we never overlook anyone. You know, um, he want to go out and display his skills. Have I ever seen him fight? Absolutely not. But you can never overlook. You can never overlook anyone. You know, throughout my career, I never uh, watch tapes on my opponents. I just go out there and, and do what I do. It's not, and I'm not overlooking. I want him to come out. Fight, entertain, have fun, laugh, and get the people what they want to see excitement. But far as myself, if Ricky Hatton, Manny Pacquiao, Canelo, Oscar De La Hoya, and the list goes on and on. So, you know, you know in, in the sport of boxing, you know, I think one of the great things about my career is that. Um, the, the first thing my dad ever taught me, the less you get, the longer you last. So, you know, just being able to keep all my faculties, you know, with my, you know, with my career being over in retirement, making smart investments, um, connecting with the right people, and building generational wealth, that's what's important to me. And um, that's what I will continue to do. 
Um, but November 13th, Floyd Mayweather having fun, living life, and giving the people what they want to see excitement. When we were in Las Vegas, you talked about taking the, the temperature of an opponent. <laughs> yes. Seeing what, seeing what kind of, you know, warmth they're bringing your way, you reacting accordingly. Well, what's so, what's so great about this fight is we're able to come together and then actually, you know, Ken from Front Row as well as, well as Global Titans, he spoke to me and we, we I, I don't know, I, I don't, what is February? February, we look forward to coming here and putting on an exhibition for the fans in the UK. Because I never had a chance to come over here and, and actually fight when I was active, actively fighting. So hopefully in February we come over here and do an exhibition if it's possible. Wow. Andy, can I say something? Andy, let me say something. Let's be honest. I think what we really want to see is pretty boy Anthony Taylor versus Money Floyd Mayweather. Now that's the fight. I fought on Showtime, some of the biggest fights y'all ever seen on pay-per-view. I deserve to fight boy. He knows he's there. I've never seen that. I'm the fucking pretty boy, baby. Former pretty boy, now Money Mayweather. Anthony Pretty Boy Taylor versus Boy Money Mayweather. to look out for him. This could be the next Floyd Mayweather. We just never know. So, it, it, it's, it's so much talent on this stage. I'm proud of all these fighters. You know, we're here to uplift fighters, and I didn't get to this point in the sport of boxing to bad mouth none of, none of these fighters. I'm proud of you. Good luck with everything that you're doing. With, with everything that you're doing. Sport grow, box because without boxing, I wouldn't be where I'm at. Without boxing, I wouldn't I wouldn't have been able to make certain, the certain investments and build generational wealth. So I just like I said before, what's so important is us giving back to the sport of boxing, and I will always give back to the sport of boxing first. Boxing, boxing is a driving force to me. And um, November 13th. Um, hopefully, you know, I get a chance to watch you fight. We can fight this week. No, next no, 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 not me, not me. Oh, oh, you you gotta beat me first. You gotta beat me first. You gotta beat me first. No, so we'll see. No chance on earth. It's never happened so, to this stage. So, I ain't happening again. So, so I need you guys to kind of feel me in. I need you to kind of, kind of feel me in on these two. Okay. Try, try to give me the point of history. Okay. Give, me, give me the history, please. So uh, Anthony is being trained with the likes of Jake Paul. He's a former MMA fighter now, quite also with these influencer cards. Sit down! Sit down. You want the top deck? Okay. Uh, uh, Jack is a former amateur boxer turned reality star, now turned professional boxer, making his pro debut on your card, November 13th. Okay. How many professional fights? We, we, we're not here 
knock him. But, you know, the, the great thing about my career is I always tell people this. You know, um, looks don't pay bills. So, I say my bank account is very pretty. <laughs> but, I, but, I, but good luck to both competitors. You know, I'm pretty sure that, you know, we got Deji right here. You know. <laughs> Guys, I want you guys to hook Deji on, push him. You know, I know he's gonna come out, and you know, I can just tell, just looking at him, he's an animal. So, you know, no, I, no. you know, I'll be ready in the 13. So Deji, let, let's, let's come to you. Let's, let's focus on Deji for a moment. It's been a lot of back and forth for all of these other fighters. Look, we talk about the temperature. We talk about the, the heat that, you know, Floyd has felt out of the opponents and reacted accordingly. After that initial press conference, there was such an outpouring of positivity for you across the board. But there were a few comments saying perhaps Deji's being too nice. That he's being nice because he doesn't want to doesn't want to bring out the, the anger in Floyd and risk getting knocked out. Is there any truth? Deji, Deji, don't don't fall for the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> Never listen. It's okay to be a gentleman on the outside and be a killer in the inside. It's okay. It's okay. We, we, we can carry ourselves like gentlemen out here. We don't have to, I don't have to say what, what I'm going to do. Just like, you know, um, you know, one time I came here, I done a press conference with, um, you know, it, it's different with different opponents. You know, me and Conor McGregor, we had a ball. We had a ball. Um, me and Pacquiao was kind of just, like me, you kind of relax, cool. So I always check the temperature. You seem like a pretty cool guy, and your brother, he's a pretty cool guy. And I want you guys to continue to uh, build your following on your social media platforms. You guys are doing a hell of a job. Thank you so much, brother. <laughs> now, Deji, let, let's talk about how you see this fight going. Like, you know, I know that you'd have sat there at night dreaming of, of landing that punch. And, you know, what could happen? I know that's gone through your mind. How do you see this fight playing out November 13th? Realistically, I'm just coming to have fun because this is an amazing opportunity. I mean, to go toe to toe with the best fighter in the world. It's a, it's a dream come true. People would die to have a fight with Floyd and look at me. I, I beat Fousey and I'm now fighting Floyd. So, it's amazing. I mean, but how you want to test yourself? You want to show the world your skills. You want to you want to see the reaction you get from one of the greatest ever. But are you scared of perhaps pushing it too much? And what will happen if Floyd does connect and, and you get laid out? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> let me ask today. Remember this: all the, all the cars are stacked against you anyway. But. <laughs> Listen, all the cars are stacked against you, but we got to take your hat off just for asking for the fight, just for accepting this. You got, you, you winning just by doing that alone. So, I'm going to let you be the tough guy. I'm going to sit back and take it easy. <laughs> but Deji, is that enough for you? Yeah, yes, look, 100 you should be, anyone should be admired and respect for just stepping in the ring with anyone let alone someone like Floyd Mayweather, but is that respect enough for you? Do you want more from this fight? All right, first things first, let's be honest. We fight Floyd in itself as a W, yes? <laughs> so, I'm gonna just showcase my skills. I'm not afraid of uh, what's to come. That's the, that's the poor, like, that's the wrong mindset to have. In any fight, if you're scared of getting knocked out, you shouldn't be fighting. So, yeah. And what can your fans expect? We've all followed your boxing journey with the highs, the lows, and then of course your last fight. A real almost coming out party for your skills. You're working with Daily now, you've been working with him for quite some time. What can we expect from you in terms of your performance come November 13th? I'll let Daily talk. Um, first, first off, I just I want to say to Floyd, I've watched you my whole life, man, so congratulations on a legendary career. I, I come from a boxing family. Um, 
my brothers were professionals. I used to fight. My career got shut, cut short. And I said to myself, if I'm going to be a professional boxing trainer, I want to do it to be one of the best in the game. So I've surrounded Deji with my pro fighters so he understands what it takes. Um, this is a serious sport. You can die in this sport. People don't understand the things that go into it. So I want him to be competitive. I don't want him to go out there and just only have fun. I want him to display what we do in the gym. He's been showing it in the gym. And um, hope he, he's, he's been, today actually he sparred and, and, and I was blown away. He's really coming on uh, as a fighter. And as I said, it's about just surrounding him around the right people, around my pro fighters, so he can show people that he's serious and um, not go out there to make himself look like a clown. So with my kids, I don't even let my kids win in bowling if we go and do any sports. I'm a competitive guy, man. So it's Floyd Mayweather. I've watched him my whole life. I respect this guy. But every beginner, every, every, every professional was once a beginner. So he's come from hardships, Floyd Mayweather, I know that. I've come from hardships. Deji's come from hardships. Let's go out there and put on a show, man. In November 13th in Dubai Live, the Coca Cola Arena. And Dej, before I open up to the press, I've got one last question for you. You said that you would love to land at least a blow on Floyd. Do you think you can do it? Yes or no? Can you land a punch on Floyd Mayweather on November 13th? If I say no, then I should be fighting Floyd, should I? So, I believe it's possible, but we'll have to see November 13th. I'm taking that as a, as a yes. He will let a punch. I don't know which one as well. Yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, November 13th, your main event, Deji Oladunje versus Floyd Money Mayweather. I cannot wait. Five week kicks off. This coming week all starts from here on in. But we're going to do face to face. We've got some questions for the press. We just woke up with Paul Bamba. Where's Paul? Oh, there's Paul. Hi, Paul. Sorry, Flight. Um, look, I'm going to open up to the press real quick before we do some face to faces. Any members of the press want to ask any questions real quick? We've got a couple of moments. Anyone down there? Oh, Gareth, yes. Floyd, it's great to see you here in the UK. Um, I had the privilege of covering almost all of your career. You talked about some of the great names you fought. When you were coming to the end of what I would say was your real boxing career, and these are now exhibitions, do you ever think about the fact that Deji's got 10 million followers, the other guys you, you fight or have exhibitions about with have millions and millions of followers? You talk about your own general, generational wealth and your own personal achievements. But aren't you spreading the gospel of boxing as well to the next generation? Helping to spread that gospel, so many lives get changed. We were talking about it earlier with Deji, that he has 10 million followers. If 5% follow and just go to the gym, they could change their lives. Well, um, well you know, I have so many fighters. I mean, just because it may not be under the main one or main, I work with so many fighters. And we give back to so many fighters. And actually, we travel around the world just giving just knowledge, you know, giving knowledge back um, on the sport of boxing. Um, you know what's so crazy about a lot of these fighters' career? You know, um, they live for the moment, meaning that they want they want the crowd to scream and go crazy at that particular moment. They don't think about 20 years from now. 30 years from now. So um, defense was very, very important to me. And saving your money was very, very important to me. So um, those are two of the most key things, saving your money and defense. You know, um, who, who's ever watching, that's to all the fighters. Defense and saving your money is very important. Paul Bamba just got a moment to talk to you, he's just arrived here. Uh, Paul, welcome to the UK. Um, 
you see your opponent Tommy Fury in front of you, what can we expect from you November 13th? Oh, it's going to be a hell of a match. It's probably going to be the fight of the night. I would say it's going to be a really good match, probably the fight of the night. Uh, he got something to prove, I have something to prove. It's a life-changing opportunity for me. It's another day at the office for him. If he loses, if he goes home, it's another day. If I lose, I go back to nothing. So I'm coming to take everything. Before we do our face-to-faces, let's talk to uh, Uday. A little over a week to go to this event. The momentum behind it has been incredible. Uh, it's a real festival feel, I think, out in Dubai next week. Uh, how's it all been moving towards the event? A um, lot of hard work, a lot of uh, excitement at the same time, sleepless nights, but we're here today. Uh, another week to go. I think we're going to put up a great show for everybody uh, in Dubai, November the 13th. So, um, well, lots of thank yous to you out here, but uh, um, there's a lot of people behind the scenes that need to be thanked. Um, I think, um, you know, as I said, it's, 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 it's not easy. It's, it's not, it doesn't take, it takes a whole village to put up an you know, event like this, and we're here to entertain everybody. So, we'll see everybody on November the 13th. Like Floyd just said, if you can't make it to Dubai, um, go online, you have pay per view. Um, streaming is on in the, the UK, and then uh, we also have. Uh, I think we have uh, you've got some, you've got some, you've got some amazing clubs like Fight Night Network, Sport Dodging Gym. You already spoke about PayPerView.com. Yeah, so um, look for every business. Or I'd say uh, great things can be achieved by great partnerships, and we're extremely honoured and excited to bring on board a partnership. Excuse me, with Sports.gg. They're going to change the way, the future of sports and entertainment. You're going to go check out sports.gg, um, the VR, um, <clears throat> and it's live now. And also, for the first time in history, a boxing event is being shown on uh, the Metaverse. With Fight Time Metaverse, it's a Metaverse book. So, fighttime.com, get on there if you want to watch the fight on Metaverse with your own avatar. And we're extremely excited about that as well. So, there are great partnerships, and I think. I'd also like to thank all other sponsors and partners who obviously some have come here. Uh, I have a friend here, Slavi, Slavi.io. Thank you for being here all the way from Dubai. Um, thank you for all your support, Road Hotels, Bagatelle, IMT, and many, many more. Thank you so much. It takes um, all of you, you know, it's, it's a lot of work together to be here, and thank you. Thank you, man. Let me just finish with yourself. You've been a part of so many big events from sport to music. How does this one compare? Yeah, this is one of the biggest ones. This one out there is close to one of the biggest events I ever, ever did. So I'm excited. No. Microphone tag over here. Anyway, I think it's time now to do our.